nurse called me and I said, okay. I says, I'm on my way. And she said, okay, but we're gonna have this baby now. And I said, now? And she said, right now. It was 23 weeks and one day. He was one pound, 15 ounces. His lungs uh, weren't working on his own at this point. They did have to resuscitate him, but then he was breathing over the ventilator. So the nurses, the nurses nicknamed him Rocky because he was such a fighter from the, from the beginning. The first time we stepped in the NICU, you got a sense that if this is where you need to be, this is where you need to be. You know what I mean? So, um, and so we got some time with Grayson. Uh, it wasn't a lot of time because they were doing a lot of work um, because he needed a lot of work. You're fine, boy. You do your thing. Don't worry about us. It was so hard because it was two weeks before the first time we, I could hold him. He was wrapped up and the respiratory therapist was holding the ventilator over him. So I, could only, I couldn't hold him, hold him. But uh, it was still... You know, sorry. It was hard. It was hard. He just kept fighting. He made it clear to us that he was going to fight and that he wanted to be here. There was one night where, um, I mean, it was 50-50. So we actually had Heather's dad come in and baptize the baby. And um, I remember that um, Dr. Payne, it meant so much to her for us to have that, to have that time. Um, but um, I remember her tapping me on the shoulder, Dr. Payne, and saying, would you mind if I join you? And absolutely not. So she joined us in prayer, and my and my father-in-law blessed the baby, and uh, it was uh, it was real special. The nurses we were interacting with on a regular basis, and they were very compassionate, not just towards him, but towards the whole family, and they were very reassuring and. Um, Anytime we could help, they would let us so that we could touch the baby, whether it, it was hold his hand or, you know, anything that we could do to maybe sort of interact a little bit, they would let us do that. So they were very helpful and very understanding. And, and even though we had a lot of family support and we're very fortunate, when the nurses are able to reassure you and they're there every day, it just has a different feeling to it. So he was in GBMC for four months. Then he was transferred uh, to Johns Hopkins um, for two months. Um, and towards the end of the four months, Dr. Payne, um, she came in one day and closed the door. And so she said, because we have to wait for certain specialists to come in to do certain things for Grayson, um, time constraints is going to be easier. So, and then she looked at us and she said, I have brought you this baby this far. We're not gonna lose this child. This is what we need to do. It's just, it means the world to us that someone just kind of stepped out of that white coat and said, you know, I'm telling you this is the best. From a mother to a father, a mother to a mother, this is the best for the baby. And she called every day every day, either a phone call or a text. He just is constantly looking around and just doesn't want to miss anything and just wants to see everything that's going on. And he and if, if you talk to him or sing to him, he will look at you very intently, like he is listening to what you're saying. He's such a happy child, he really is. Just being around the other girls, you know, I'm, I'm afraid that he probably won't walk until he's five because the girls are always wanting to hold him and carry him and, you know, all that stuff. And 
the more the baby was held, the more he was able to develop and grow and stay strong and feel loved and all that kind of good stuff. So we were very fortunate. Proud of my family, you know, my, our family's everything to us. And the girls, and there were some times, you know, at that six months we had, you know, a detachment from my girls. And, and um, I just hope and pray that they understood, and I think they did. It was a tough time for us all, but they stood up and, you know, it makes me very proud to be a dad. And it just makes me feel like I did something right. So, good thing.